Hello, this is the last video for the topic on budgeting. At this moment, you should have already seen the three previous videos that covers the budget from number one until number seven. Now, for this particular video, we are going to look into the cash budget, budgeted income statement, and budgeted balance sheet. What is a cash budget? This is a detailed plan showing how cash resources will be acquired and used over some specific time period. And cash budget is composed of four major sections. So we have four major sections, namely cash receipts, disbursement, cash access, deficiency, as well as financing. Right, the cash receipts section consists of a listing of all the cash inflow. The money comes into the company, whether it's come from the uh, sales, uh, sometimes it comes from um, uh, funders and so on, eh? uh, except for financing, okay, expected during the budgeting period. So generally, the major source of receipts will be from sales. So imagine if you uh, can uh, sell more products, meaning that more uh, income for the company, that's where will rise in terms of the cash in hand. So the disbursement section consists of all cash payments that are planned for the budgeted period. So there, there are also, um, you want to make sure that the payment, eh, disbursement section consists of all cash payment. You want to know also what are the money going out from the uh, account of the company. So these payments will include raw material purchases. So when you buy material, you have to pay and you can plan whether you want to pay this month or in the following months. You also can plan in terms of the direct labor payments, manufacturing overhead costs, etc. as contained in their respective budgets. So in addition, other cash disbursements such as equipment purchase. So you sometimes you have to pay uh, photocopy machine or you have to pay to buy um, computers and then dividends and other cash withdrawals by owners are listed in the cash budget. If there is a cash deficiency during any period, the company will need to borrow funds. Okay, so you have to make sure there are money in the account. Okay? If not, you have to inject funds or borrow from somewhere. If there is cash access during any budgeted periods, funds borrowed in the previous periods can be repaid or the excess fund can be invested. So you have extra money during certain period of months, you can then plan to uh, uh, pay upfront in terms of the uh, loan or you can also invest it in other um, such as upgrading equipment or uh, giving incentive. The financing section deals the borrowing and repayments projected to take place during the budgeted period and include interest payments that are due on the money borrowed. If you have borrowed some money, of course, there are interests incurred and this has to be deal in the cash budget. In general, the cash budget should be broken down into time periods that are as short as it is feasible. For example, when I work in a company uh, before, we have like a monthly cash flow. So we 
we have we need to know what money comes in how much money comes out and considerable fluctuations in cash balances may be hidden by looking at a longer time period while a monthly cash budget is most common many firms budget cash on a weekly or even daily basis so it depends on the style of the finance of the company this is an example of a cash budget for a company called KK Sendirian Berhad for the month of April in 2012. If we can see here the cash balance beginning period, you the company has $75,000 and then cash flow from operation. They have the operating cash flow, operating uh, which is $539,000, cash payment, uh, for direct material purchase, direct labor, factory overhead, selling and admin expenses is there and net cash flow from operation is given here. Okay, Investing activities, right? Uh, they don't uh, buy any equipment. Okay, there's no, that's why it is zero here. And cash balance before financing activities, it is 84,781. They start with this. 75,000, they end up at the end of the month of April with $84,000. So ending net, net cash balance that they bring forward to the May month for 2012 is $84,781. The next one is budgeted income statement. The budgeted income statement can be prepared from the data developed in sales budget ending finish good inventory budget selling and administrative expenses budget and cash budget so you have to take note where does this income statement budget coming from so the budgeted income statement is one of the key schedules in the budget process as it shows the organization's plan profit so you want in this particular budgeted income statement you can now set what are the profit for the year is it 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent or more than that and it stands as a benchmark against subsequent organizational performance that can be measured so they you set a benchmark there's like a target yeah, a target for the company for the year and the final one is the budgeted balance sheet. So this sheet is developed by beginning with the current balance sheet and making adjustments for the data contained in other budgets. Overall picture of the master budget interrelationship is being shown here. The boxes and the arrow leads to the corresponding budget for example like when we start with the sales budget the arrow indicate here shows that production budget can only be made when the sales budget is ready and from the production budget you can uh, produce the ending inventory budget as well as giving feedback to the production budget vice versa once you have the production budget ready you can now produce your direct material budget direct labor budget and manufacturing overhead budget right after that from these three budget you can now prepare the cash budget okay in order for you to continue from the sales budget you can then produce the income statement budget as well as the selling and administrative budget combining these three okay information budgeted income statement cash budget selling and administrative budget finally you will get the budgeted balance sheet i hope you have enjoyed the explanation feel free to drop down any comments or questions 
uh, in the uh, comment section in YouTube. Thank you very much for your time. Till then, bye-bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.